Belgium, a country in Western Europe with unique distinctive regions that makes the nation famous. From the Dutch-speaking Flanders to the north, French-speaking Wallonia to the south, and a German-speaking community to the east, Belgium is one of the shining beacon of modern Western civilization today, despite its relatively young age compared to its neighbors. Belgium famous cities such as the capital Brussels and Antwerp are famous for business, tourism, fashion, culture, and more. On this episode of Foreign Insight, we'll have a talk with His Excellency Ambassador of the Kingdom of Belgium for Indonesia, Mr. Patrick Herman, and also Trade and Investment Commissioner, Ms. Natalie. We'll talk about Belgium investment in Indonesia, current political unrest in West and Eastern Europe, and finally, what do they think about Indonesia? Ambassador and uh, Ms. Natalie, thank you for having me here. It's been a pleasure. My first question will be about economic, our bilateral economic relationship right, between uh, Belgium and uh, Indonesia. So in the economic partnership from the latest data of Indonesia Investment Promotion Center, that will be the cover app by which Belgium investors have already realizing uh, 169.7 million dollar worth of investment in Indonesia along the year of 2016 alone, consists of around 118 projects. Now please kindly inform us what are the most promising sectors for investment in the, Belgi the Belgian sea and why? Um, well, I think the investments reflect a little bit of what Belgium has to offer as well. And um, we see a lot of diversity because Belgium is, is made of a lot of small and medium sized companies, uh, very uh, focused on certain uh, specific sectors uh, or specific products and services. So that makes them, although they're not huge, they still can work worldwide. And um, when I look at the investments, that's definitely a reflection. It goes from uh, companies in the food industry, uh, companies in the furniture, companies in the construction sector. Uh, but there's a couple of sectors that we really have been focusing on on the last couple of years. Uh, one of them is everything that has to do with maritime infrastructure. We have quite a few of bigger companies that are active in construction of ports, uh, developing logistics and infrastructure, and that's definitely also one of the priorities for Indonesia, so there's definitely a very good match. Um, we also have a lot of companies in agriculture, um, biotech, uh, the more advanced uh, development of certain agriculture uh, products or services, so that's uh, what is reflected in, in, the, in the current trend of, uh, of investments. And please kindly inform us, how do the business people in Belgium uh, see the Indonesian economic potentials? Uh, Indonesia is not always the easiest country to work in, although there has been a tremendous uh, effort to improve that. And uh, like it was uh, revealed recently, Indonesia was one of the fastest uh, improving countries in terms of ease of doing business in the world. So I think Indonesia jumped about 15 places in one year alone. So that shows that the economic stimulus packages are definitely uh, having their effect. And that I think is what have, has attracted also a lot of companies to finally uh, come to Indonesia and invest here. What are the difficulties that the investors mostly faced in Indonesia? I think it's still uh, paperwork, uh, the, the, the red tape, uh, the bureaucracy to deal with. Uh, it's, it's challenging because it's a totally different environment. Um, uh, it's often where do we start and even more where do we end. Uh, it, it's, there's always new things coming up and so on. So. Right, again, from the data of the IIPC, it seems that during the fourth quarter of 2016, the Belgian investment in Indonesia was rapidly increased. It was worth $141 million in fourth quarter alone. What cost it? Well, I, I think one of the reasons is also, uh, as you might know, last year we had a very big uh, trade mission coming to Indonesia. Uh, we had our uh, Princess Astrid who headed a trade mission of more than 300 delegates. And for a country like Belgium, this is huge. Uh, it's even huge for Europe. I think we were the largest ever trade mission from Europe coming to Indonesia. So of course that has put a lot of 
emphasis on Indonesia, a lot of attention. And although some of the companies were already working on in Indonesia, this really gave a momentum and uh, it brought Indonesia in a very good uh, focus and, and daylight where companies said, yeah, we have to be in Indonesia. And I think some of the, the value or, or the numbers that we see definitely is a result of that mission. So well, what do you see about the future between uh, our two countries, between Belgium and Indonesia, in terms of investment? I think it will definitely increase, uh, especially if Indonesia continues on the, on the same path of economic reform and openness and transparency. I think there's so much potential and there's so much uh, both countries can contribute to each other. Uh, because I always think trade is not a one-way business, it's a two-way business. And what benefits for one country also benefits for the other country. because. The economy is now so global, um, it is important uh, that, that you both win from uh, this situation. And uh, I see the future quite bright for Indonesia and the relationship of Belgian companies with Indonesia as well. Trade is always a two-way street. Belgium always has been famous also for garments, for fabrics. Right. Already from the Middle Ages uh, we had the Flemish tapestries. Mm -hmm. uh, today we have the, the Antwerp fashion scene. Uh, so textile is still very important. So as it is a two-way street, uh, we also source a lot uh, from, from, among others, Indonesia. And Belgium also is a hub for logistics. So a lot of the bigger uh, textile companies, companies like Nike, uh, they have set up their European logistics centers in Belgium. That's also why a lot of uh, items are imported in Belgium but maybe a lot of them are re-exported to other countries in the European Union. And that's because Belgium is so central uh, and so efficient for logistics that uh, a lot of companies choose Belgium as their, their uh, headquarters for European Union. Uh, can you give us uh, a little bit of clue about how, uh, how, uh, how the young entrepreneurship scene is going mm -hmm. on in Belgium right now for the millennials? I mean. Well, actually, I was reading that uh, for the last year we have had the highest of uh, number of new entrepreneurs in Belgium ever. So I think it's really it's something that's already in the blood of many Belgians and to own their own business. Um, but I think it's also in their blood to make good products or good services. I think the foremost important thing is quality, and they will always focus on quality before quantity. So they prefer to be a small company uh, that's making the best possible quality of giving the best possible service rather than having immediately growth figures of 100% uh, of, uh, or whatever. They want to focus on uh, what the product is. And I think that is the strength of, of the Belgian entrepreneur. They will always uh, be faithful to their, their products and not uh, at any cost want to grow rapidly.